hello everyone welcome to in the new video of the dset channel in this video i am going to use the glue which is a generalized likelihood uncertainty estimation tool in the dset that is used to estimate the genetic coefficient parameters for a particular soybean cultivar so let's open the dset here so to run the glue you have to be you have to remember that you need the r software that needs to be installed pre prior to running the glue program so during the download uh, installation program when you open the dset you can you have also an option to install the r or you can go to the website to install the r in this case you will know that how to download the r and then you can use the glue so again you for example you have to go to accessories here and then you have to click on glue so press ok this will appear if you are going to run it for the first time this will create a so the first time that the glue tool is run there are some one time step that must be done so has i done already so if this is the first time that glue is run the screen will look like a figure as it was below so then let's start on the glue let's start glue and let's say you want to do for go for soya bean i'm just taking an example here so example soya bean you can select your cultivar on which you are going to change those so let's select Williams 82 here this one and click on go and then which experiment you want to go for it so in this way I am selecting only the cultivar William 82 in which these you can see in these experiments that cultivar Williams 82 has been used so this will appear here all the ex treatments or experiments available in the D set that have used the glue tool so then select experiment on which you want to optimize it is best to uh, estimate gen genetic parameters based on experiment which cover a diverse range of sowing dates and latitudes which have experienced minimum water or nitrogen stress for which both phenological observations and final growth and yield measurements have been made. So remember if you have the final yield measurements or growth parameters like in, in uh, have you seen the one of the video in where I have told you how to make your AOT file then you can it's best to run glue for it if you have the phenological observations also so let's say let's select the treatment which have a, and remember only select in glue only select that experiment which have a minimum water stress but has a very good calibration data let's say we select soybean IUM 8801 so I'm going to select these two experiments and click and then treatment number U UFGA7902 but we am going to only use the last one because it was the fully irrigated you can go to this experiment and read in the description about it let's select this one also so in this way I have selected five treatments click on go press ok a backup yes click on yes now so this will create a backup file in the G GL work folder you can check this file in your directory by going to this D set directory Just click save now let's say for how many runs you want to run your parameters let's say uh, or you are going to run all parameters phenological parameters which are indicated as the you can see here if you want to like only the P phenological parameters or you want to go for G growth parameters or all parameters you remember the end parameters are not going to be used in the in this calibration process for the glue you can run it for how many times the more runs the more better results you will get let's say we run it for 10 times otherwise if you're going to you can maybe run it for 10,000 20,000 50,000 times depending on your computer 
and your processor speed if you run it for 40,000 times it may take four to five hours depending on your computer if let's say if you run it for 70,000 times it may take more time so right now I'm only running it for let's say 10 click on update run glue it will take some time as it is uh, calibrating five experiments one at a time let's wait until it completes the run so we at least we need 10,000 runs that should be used so the number 10 is basically insufficient and it is only for the educational purpose right now I'm doing so so the treatment selected will be run each run like a 200 times it means for 10 means each treatment have a selected 100 times for each for phenology then growth parameters if you select 10 then it will run about 10 times 100 times or uh, like 10 times each experimenter for each experiment let's say you have here if you select 100 it will run for 200 times then press ok then you will get a new cultivar coefficients here these are your coefficients you can maximize this I'm going to just what you want to do is that file oh, sorry you have to copy this one and go to back your D set directory genotype open this cultivar soya soybean and I have used the Williams let's look for the William 82 which where it has been so you can see here it is so now what I'm going to do is just make a, enter make some more space for you and then I'm going to paste it here so you can see that now the parameters have been changed 0 0.98, 0 0.376, 21.5, 8 8.3 you can see all these ends in a single line remember this is the key point here it should not be shuffled here it can go to your left side but the right ending should be in the single line it should all be aligned in a single so in this case you don't want you the previous <coughs> what you are going to do is put a hyphen here so in this case just make it save here open your D set again now I'm going to close this glue file update in this case we don't need but it's better to do if you go for a refresh option So let's go for soya bean. Click on soya bean. So let's find out your experiment which have used UFGA7901. This one irrigated, it used the Williams and 7902. We use this one. Just I'm going to show you something here. So click anyone which use the Williams. I'm going to refresh it again. 79 UFGA 7901. This one, sorry. I'm going to edit. I'm going to refresh it again. If I'm going to the management cultivars. So here you can see even I can change the name for this one new one I will select it again press OK I will refresh it save and refresh then close this one refresh it again I'm going to run this experiment again run model okay analysis so just go to the overview view file so now you will see some 
things here better. So you can see that Anthesis Day, it it was simulated as 41 according to the new coefficient which I have calibrated. So the Meyer data is 38. As you are going to run more and more simulations in the glue, like you run it for 50,000 times, you will see the difference in the simulated and the measured. So it means that there is a, this going to be genetic coefficients is improving our model in improving improving our model in simulations and everything. So the less there would be a difference, the less it would be a better. So let's go to some other options. So you can also go to evaluate dot out. You can plot it. Let's just click here and this is day. I'm going to select all runs, all the four next. And if you go for statistics, then you can see the better the RCM in this case is not going to be and this day. Let's say view what wrap. So these were the minus 99 means this was not and this is day simulated and this is day measured so this was the same according to the new genetic coefficient we have provided let's click on plot again let's look some at other like yield at harvest maturity select all runs next so statistics so you can see the d statistic is improving with the with more runs you will do for the d in the glue press ok close it uh, one thing you have to be be clearly here that these are the minimum and maximum ranges here so anything if you add it like I can add here manually like three three two five nine but if this, this should not be exceed from 14.60 so so in this way so if you want to use we have used the Williams so you can see here William 82 so just close this one so hopefully you like the video thank you for watching this video and hopefully it helps you a lot in your work with the DSAT and uh, you will see an, uh, also other videos regarding the sequential and uh, spatial analysis in the DSAT thank you for watching this video